Hi guys, thanks for joining my YouTube channel. Well, Carlos King drops the bomb on Martel Holt. We understand that Martel has tried to change the narrative of he and Sheree's relationship by putting out these disparaging rumors about his ex-wife, Melody Sheree, and their custody battle. But we're on to you, fool. Okay, Carlos King gives details of Sheree and Martel seeing each other, dating, courting, whatever you want to call it. And he says, Melody Sheree is aware of it. She will address the relationship on this coming episodes, episodes of Love and Marriage Huntsville this September. And that uh, Sheree and Martel's courtship or relationship will uh, be shown on the episodes coming up in September. He also says that other the other cast members will give um, their um, they will respond to the relationship as well. And I don't know he did not he did not um, really indicate this, but you know everyone wants to know what Coleslaw's uh, reaction will be to uh, this relationship and I mean we might we might get a hold of that as well as the show so Martel Hope we are on to you we realize you want to take all the attention off of you and Sheree's relationship by putting out this information uh, in regards to Melody and your children and the custody case but you made a deeper hole for yourself, brother. You just made the situation worse. Because now they're petitioning to get rid of you. You could not leave well enough. You could not leave well enough alone. You just could not humble yourself. Okay? And go on with your court case behind the scenes. You had to continue playing the tit-for-tat game. And now you've dug a, digger, a bigger hole for your situation for yourself. They're petitioning to get you off of a show that you and your ex-wife bought to Carlos King. The tables have truly turned. This is really a sad situation. It is a very unfortunate situation, especially for your kids. It's really an unfortunate situation. So thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. I have questions. All of your fans, all of your listeners, all the raindrops. We have so many questions. I hate to just, like, jump in like this. That's okay. They know you, Jasmine. But the girls want to know. Like, starting out, did you hook them up? Because <laughs> that's been the question on everybody's lips. So please let us know. I mean... I feel so bad for just jumping in, but did you hook them up? Because we have to know. So for my listener, she needs no introduction. This is my executive producer, Jasmine Henley Brown, who is asking if I hooked up Sheree and Martel. The answer is no. I did not hook them up, which is shocking. And I promise you, listen, y'all know me. I don't mind taking credit for things that are iconic. Okay? I had no idea... Martel and Sheree were dating until six weeks ago. So neither of them told you. Let's just say this. <laughs> <laughs> Please, say it okay. all. <laughs> so the world found out this week where Sheree confirmed that she is, you know, hanging out with Martel, seeing him, dating him, whatever the case may be. I found out six weeks ago before you guys because... Mm. I was told by a mutual friend. <laughs> I am not the mutual friend Sheree Whitfield speaks of, by the way. But I was told through somebody who knows Sheree and Martel that they were seeing each other. And I was in my drop top. <laughs> driving. Cruising the streets. You were cruising okay. the streets. <laughs> in my Usher Raven voice. Okay. Cruising the streets. I was going to the airport. 
I literally had to pull over because your boy was gagging. And I really thought like, whatever, it's a publicity stunt. This isn't real. Mm. They're trying to have a conversation, right? Fast forward to two weeks after that. My listeners and the Love and Marriage Huntsville fans know this. I have a great relationship with all my cast. But when it comes to Martel, whenever I call him, he gets nervous. That means he's always in trouble. So I called Martel two weeks after I learned that he may be seeing Sheree. But I was calling him about something unrelated. And yes, guys, he was in trouble. So Martel answers the phone. Hi, Carlos. I said, hey, Martel. He said, before you yell at me, because you only call me when I'm in trouble, somebody wants to say hi to you. And I'm like, who? And I hear, hello. (gasps) I said, Sheree, is that you? Hey, Carlos. So they were riding around as a couple. Okay, wait, 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 wait. (laughs) Was the mutual friend that told you, was it Mel? Was that the the friend that told you? Mel who? Melody Cherie. Ah! Is that who told you they were dating? Did she find out? That's a very good question. So, no, I did not learn from Melody Cherie. I would tell you, I did not know from her. I knew from somebody else. But when she said hello, I was like, wait. And he said, no, she's on the other line. I just conference her in because you called oh. me. And I was like, what are y'all doing? And they both started laughing. And then I was like, Sheree, I will call you later. I have to cuss on Martel about something unrelated to this scoop that just fell into my lap. And that's how I learned that Martel and Sheree were seeing each other. But, okay, so how does Mel feel? Does Mel know? Obviously, Mel knows now. So one thing about my relationship with my cast, I don't spread their business. Like, it's not, it's not my job to spread business that you talk to me personally about. I'm not that guy. So... I never told anybody. I didn't tell nobody in my close friends. I didn't tell you, Jasmine. Me and you talk all the time, sis. I know. (laughs) You look a little (laughs) bit annoyed. I'm feeling away about that, but it's okay. It's all right. (laughs) I'll forgive you at some point. (laughs) But it goes to show you, I'm a good friend. I'm not going to spread your tea. Right. Y'all call me messy all the time. I'm I'm not messy like I think I am. I didn't tell anybody. So, Melody, I'm just going to assume, you know what? Exclusive for you. Martell dating Sheree is being discussed on this season of Love and Marriage Huntsville, which comes back in September. Not spring, summer, but the real September. (laughs) That was going to be my question because I'm like, we have to see this play out on the show. I need the reaction from Mel. I need the reaction from the rest of the cast. I need the reaction from Coleslaw. Like, will she (gasps) make an appearance? I need to know how she feels because she did all that only to not get the man and for him to move on with up. A real housewife of Atlanta. So I want to know how Arion feels. And I know other people do too. If that's coleslaw, is Sheree Cabbage? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Sheree, the way Sheree be looking, how good she looks, she is all of his dessert. She is the red, vel- red velvet cake, the peach cobbler, honey. She <gasps> is the the upside down, the seven up cake. No, she is the yes. dessert. You're right. She's a peach cobbler. So Sheree, she is the peach cobbler. Sheree- 